Welcome to the first of the PEAT introductory tutorials. PEAT is an open source package for the alignment and averaging of 3D subvolumes. It's most often used in conjunction with electron tomography and has features well suited to that application. Although distributed as a separate package, PEAT is most easily used in conjunction with iMOD and we'll be using iMOD's eTOMO graphical user interface for most operations in these tutorials. I won't repeat the editorial comments you see on the screen, but we hope you'll agree and will find PEAT useful in your work. PEAT runs can create large numbers of files, so we require each PEAT project to have its own directory. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to open existing PEAT projects, as well as how to create new ones. I've brought up a shell window that we'll be using throughout this tutorial, and you can see that we're using PEAT version 1.80. Other versions may behave differently. I'm CD'd to a copy of one of the sample data sets available for PEAT, and at the top level you can see that we have two tomographic volumes, pi a dot rec and pi b dot rec. We also have associated models, pi a dot mod and pi b dot mod, which indicate the centers of the subvolumes we'd like to align and average. And finally, we also have two existing project directories labeled example1 and example2. If I CD down into one of these project directories, you can see that there are files labeled pi.epe and pi.prm, which are so-called project and parameter files, respectively. Jointly, these files contain all the settings comprising a PEAT project. pi is the root or base name for this project, and will also be prefixed to most of the intermediate and output files created when running PEAT. Notice that as in this example, base names are not required to be identical to the project directory name. To open an existing PEAT project in the eTOMO graphical user interface, you can just execute the command eTOMO followed by the project name. So in this case, I'll type eTOMO pi.epe. You can see that the resulting GUI has both setup and run tabs containing various controls. We'll be going over the function of these controls in subsequent tutorials. For now, however, Notice that there's an online guide available with instructions on using these controls. Additionally, you can hover over any control with the mouse cursor for a brief pop-up description of its function. You can also browse to, open, and close projects from eTOMO's file menu. We currently have Project Pi in the Example 1 directory open. If I browse up to Example 2, you see that that directory also contains a project of the same name, which I can open. So now we have two projects named Pi open simultaneously, the one in Example 2 that we just opened, and the original one in Example 1. This won't confuse Pete or Itomo, but may confuse you, so I would suggest using this feature cautiously. I can select the project in Example 2 and close it from the File menu. So now we're back to just having a single project open, and as a result, the project tabs are no longer visible. That also concludes this portion of the tutorial, so now we're ready to exit the eTOMO user interface altogether, which I can do either from the File menu or just by clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner of the window. So now you know how to open an existing PEAT project. That's of limited use if you can't create new ones, however, so let's take a look at how to do that. I'll CD back up to the parent directory and run eTOMO again, this time with no arguments. This brings up eTOMO's general starting dialog, which some of you may already be familiar with from iMOD. To create a new PEAT project, press New PEAT, and in the resulting dialog, specify the location in which you'd like the new project to be created, either by browsing or by typing it in. In this case, since directories example1 and example2 already exist, I'll type example3 as the desired location. Then I'll specify pi as the desired base name, and when finished, I'll press OK, and you'll see that we've created a new project with no settings entered yet. We'll cover most of the settings in later tutorials. For now, let me show you how to associate the input volumes and models with this new project. I'll press Insert to add a new row to the volume table, and then I'll use the browsers to select volume pi a dot rec and the corresponding model pi a dot mod. 
Next, I'll add a second row and select PyB.Rec and PyB.Mod. Notice that I can select an entire row in the volume table by pressing the arrow controls near the left side. Doing so enables additional controls, when applicable, which allow me to easily rearrange or modify an existing table. I can also press the Open in 3D Mod control to view the volumes using iMod's various visualization tools. Changes made to settings can be saved manually from the file menu, but are also saved automatically on exit and when running an alignment. In this case, I'll just exit, and we can see that directory example 3 has been created and now contains parameter and project files. Often, you'll want to create a new PEAT project which differs only slightly from an existing one. Rather than entering all the settings over again from scratch, an effective way to do this is to create the new project as a copy of the existing one. Suppose I want to create a new project directory called Example 4, and I want to initialize it to Project Pi in Example 1. As before, I can just run eTomo with no arguments, select New Pete, and enter Example 4 as the project location. Then I'll check Copy Project From, browse to the Example 1 directory, and select either of the pi.prm or pi.epe files. And when I click OK, you'll see that we've opened a new project with all the settings copied over from Example 1. So that's all there is to it. You now know how to create, open, and copy PEAT projects. In the following tutorials, we'll look at the various settings and how they're used to control alignment and subvolume averaging.